Hey guys, uh, I just finished up a really super duper cool Bee Bender exclusive video called Bee Bender Extreme, right? And in this video today, I just want to take an excerpt from that video and show you all the loads of cool things that uh, is in the actual video. And I, want, I took out one really cool section for you, and I want to show you how easy it is to use a Bee Bender and to get some really freaky sounds out of it and little cheats you could use, okay? When learning the lick that you just heard in the beginning of the video, you might think it's really hard, really complicated, and things like that, but there's only three things you gotta know. I'm gonna show you here in a second. It's the shape, the overall shape, the moving shape, how it moves uh, throughout the neck. It's a lot easier than you think. And then the technique behind it. Uh, most of this is right hand stuff. So let's get into it. Okay, here's the shape. We're gonna be in, uh, let's do this in A. Okay, just an A7. And we're gonna come up here to the ninth fret, third string, eighth fret, and then ninth fret. Most of you know this, right? Okay, so there's the first shape. And this is where we're gonna learn the technique, all right, before we try to move it around anywhere. All right, here's the lick. We're gonna come up and bend the B string. Suss this note, the E note, five, and then come down to the third, and then release the bend. Bend, sus, five, third, release, bend, five, okay? Sounds cool, right? Okay, so there's the technique. Work on this technique and get it down pat. Okay, the tabs and notation to this is in B Bender Extreme. Okay, so you'll get that with the uh, when you order the video, if you do. All right, now let's learn since we know that technique, all right, and we know what chord we're in, let's learn the moving shapes, all right? And this is just my own inverted shapes that sounded good to me, all right? So let's come up here a whole octave from that. And there's our first shape, right? I don't even know what fret this is. It's clear up there, but here's your A. Right? So come up here. There's the first shape. Now just get these shapes memorized right now. Okay, and then we're gonna come down here to like an A sus. And then take this same shape down a whole step. So, so far we have. All right, take the same shape and go down to the 12th fret. Another like A sus sound. Okay, go down a whole step. So those are all the shapes. And then we're back down to the octave. Right? So. good like that, right? Okay, now the next section of, uh, you know, after you've learned the technique and got that down, just get it down kind of slow. And, and when you're finally comfortable with that, we can do, we can do the lick we heard in the beginning. Next shape. Thank you. 
sped up. I have my uh, I have my twangy pickup turned off. It's kind of bright. Cool, right? So I would suggest <clears throat> doing it just in that order. Everything you learn. And another little mental tip that I use. When I'm in this position, I'm already thinking of the next position. When I'm here, I'm already thinking of here. Always think ahead of yourself, no matter what your, you know, know what, no matter what kind of uh, position, uh, lead position you're in there. Sounds really cool, right? There are tons of these in the in the B-Bender Extreme video, but I just thought you'd really enjoy that and give you a little challenge today. Um, I didn't learn this overnight, so I don't expect anybody to just bust right into this. But like I said, there's tabs and uh, slowed down and broken down a little bit in the uh, B-Bender Extreme. So I'll see you in the video, hopefully. So you can see if you if you just give this a little bit of time, learn the shape which most of you are already know the shape. Learn how it moves throughout the scale and throughout the fretboard and the inverted chords about it and everything and just learning the technique. Now in B Bender Extreme, there's loads of these. There's common steel guitar style licks. There's more obvious style uh, things that you can do. So if you're just getting a B Bender or if you've had one for a while and really don't know where to go with it, um, this is the answer to your prayers. So I've been asked so many times to do a B Bender video, so I've finally done it. So um, thanks for watching. I hope you got a lot out of this. And go ahead and download that B Bender Extreme video. I know you'll be super happy with it. So I'll talk to you soon. Make sure you comment on this video. Pass it along to all your buddies and spread the word. Thanks again.